Bitcoin has started this week off in the red, and although my recent videos have been quite bullish, we need to at least consider the possibilities that there could be more downside price action in store for Bitcoin. With that, let's jump right in. <laughs> All right, guys, most of you guys will be quite familiar with my logarithmic chart here that goes back about 11 years. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I suggest just going back and watching my previous videos, uh, my more recent ones, probably I've been talking about this chart in my last three or four videos, and it has led me to be quite bullish for many reasons. So if you haven't seen that, be sure to go back and check out some of my previous videos. Um, but you guys will also know that I was waiting for one final bullish confirmation before I got very bullish, and that was getting a, can a weekly candle close above the 200 week moving average, and we didn't get that. This honestly caught me a little bit by surprise last night. I was ready to long the hell out of this. I really thought that we were going to get a weekly candle close above this and kind of just come back to this uh, moving average and then retest it as support and blast off from there. The fact that we never got that is a little bit alarming in my opinion. It's not necessarily the end of the world, obviously it could still happen this week, anything like that. Uh, also we did manage to close above our previous weekly wicks in this cluster here. So it's not all bad, not all hope is lost. Uh, it's just a bit of a warning shot fired there, the fact that we did get this fake out above the moving average and then back down and then immediately started this weekly candle in the red, just kind of went up, tested it, not even quite testing that 200 week moving average, but getting very close and then just trading to the downside. Now, the other thing with this is... Uh, we might just be getting a classic pullback at the start of the week. Uh, you guys know my opinion on this, that a lot of people love to flip real bearish just because a week starts off in the red. And really, you could go to any time frame charts uh, with any time frame candles, and your candles are always going to kind of test back somewhere into the previous candle, or at least more than likely they are going to. Uh, that's not uncommon. It's just that people panic when it happens on a weekly scale because it's a much bigger move when you zoom right in. Uh, but one thing I want to point out, though, is that you guys will also remember I've been saying that as long as we're on top of this green support box, support is support until it's broken, and it hasn't broke yet. So even though we did get that fake out with a 200-week moving average, yes, it's a bit of a red flag, but we still do have support below us. We still have this green box, this yellow sloping trend line. Um, this was the 786 Fibonacci line, if I pull it from our bear market bottom to our bull market top. So a lot of things lining up there why we could still have some bullish momentum going for us. Uh, just basically I'm just a little more cautious now with this weekly close last night. And again, I really wasn't expecting that, but the fact that we got it, well, the charts don't always care about our feelings, so that's just something that we have to work with. If we get back above this and retest it next week and kind of blast off from there, yeah, everything is still looking great. So we're going to have to see how that plays out. Uh, on my hourly chart here, we do have this little bit of a descending channel here. Uh, this doesn't look too bad, actually. It, it is showing a bit of weakness. I was really hoping that when we kind of started testing this again that we would have uh, blasted right through the resistance, got a resist to support flip and carried on from there. Uh, because the fact is that we do have three fairly evenly spaced touch points along this resistance line, so I am considering it valid at this point. You can see that our support is being respected as well. Um, and one thing that is nice about this channel is how slow it has been uh, just retracing here. It's not like we got this pump uh, after we broke my red resistance line here, which you guys will know. I've, I've pointed it out a few times to you guys. I even took a trade on it last week I told you about. But yeah, this was a nice resistance line, a lot of touch points. Uh, we broke out above it and even got this little bit of a retest along it and traded to the upside from there. So that was nice. Uh, but the fact that we pumped to the upside and never just got rejected hard and just set new lows right away is nice. It, it looks like 
in my opinion, that the sellers just aren't really panicking at this point. They're just slowly selling off. So it's not the end of the world that we're trading to the downside. That's very typical price action. Uh, I am interested to see this very small green box now, right? Kind of where we were testing earlier today. Uh, the fact that this is where we retested that downward sloping trend line and now we're trying to find a bit of support at that level again, it would be beautiful in my opinion if we got some sort of a double bottom along this level and then traded to the upside and setting higher highs from there. I think that would definitely be looking like the price and the bulls just want to push the price back above that 200 week moving average so that would be absolutely beautiful. I would still remain quite bullish in that case. Uh, if we kind of start uh, getting a bit of panic selling and just absolutely dump through this green box, I think it would make a lot of sense that we retest this red uh, downward sloping trend line once again, which again, that is still technically a resist to support flip. Uh, it just gets a little harder to play just because we're uh, trading to the downside. And uh, it just might continue going to the downside and just setting a proper stop loss would be a little difficult in that case. Uh, but another thing that would line up quite nicely is this upward yellow sloping trend line. So if we did get a very aggressive dump, I would expect it very quickly because in the next few hours we'd have to test down to this level. I don't know how probable that is. I personally don't really think that will happen. I would love to see us start finding support at this level. Maybe retest this resistance one more, once more before uh, blasting through retesting and going to the upside from there. I think that would be very healthy price action if we are finding support at this level. Uh, but it is looking weak. So uh, just be a little bit cautious, you guys. That's basically all I want to say here. Um... I don't have a whole lot else I need to go over with you guys right now. Uh, that's about all I wanted to say. I just, uh, I, I really wanted to get a video out to you guys last night with the weekly close, but I had other things going on last night, so I wasn't able to. Um, if I flip over to my daily chart here, you can see that we did get above this little bit of resistance, but we are trading back down below it right now. So that's not great to see in my opinion. Um, we're going to have to see what happens here. I, I think it really comes down to my hourly chart here. What's going to happen with this little bit of a channel here? Looks like we're testing the support of it again. And yes, we have had these random wicks below it. So even if this hourly candle does drop down below it but get back above, I'd say it's still intact. So we'll have to see over the next few hours how this plays out. But in my opinion, this would be the immediate... Uh, price action that's important for Bitcoin. I think getting out of this channel to the upside and retesting it and going up from there, setting higher highs and higher lows, I think that's important at this point to get back above that 200 week moving average. But uh, like I said, it's looking a little weak right now and it's looking like we may even lose support, but we're going to have to see how the candle closes. Uh, if this hourly candle does close below this, I wouldn't be too surprised to see us uh, pull back up maybe to this green box or even just this yellow line and start trending downwards from there. Um, really wouldn't surprise me too much. So I just wanted to bring you guys this quick video just to uh, let you know that yes, although there is still the potential for some bullish, bullish price action, I do think that things have changed drastically since my last couple of videos. Uh, I am a little more cautious when uh, trying to look for some bullish scenarios right now so just keep that in mind guys uh, if you do appreciate my take on the markets just be sure to smash that thumbs up do me that huge favor smash that thumbs up uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't if you want to keep getting these market updates from me uh, yes just do me a favor and like i said smash that like and subscribe to the channel and with that i will hopefully have a few more videos for you later this week I want to see how the price develops here a little bit. I will be watching that 200 week moving average very closely, but more so later on in the week and even uh, the upcoming weekend is where I'll be really focused on that. So anyways, guys, with that, stay safe, my friends. Peace.